guys, Ferry I2 here on board the self. Taking, I believe, the 245 sailing to Vashon Island or 215. Um, it's one of those two sailings. May we have your attention, please? Per CDC and U.S. Coast Guard guidance, passengers are required to wear a protective mask or face covering while inside passenger areas on board WSF vessels or in any WSF terminal facility. Please remember to don a mask prior to entering interior areas. Thank you for your cooperation and compliance with these federal directives. Welcome aboard the Washington State Ferry. The following message is an important safety announcement. For security reasons, we ask that passengers not leave any backpacks, luggage, packages, or other personal belongings unattended during this crossing. Upon arrival at our final destination, all passengers must disembark the vessel. In the event of a shipboard emergency, signals will be sounded on the ship's general alarm, followed by the same signals on the ship's whistle. If this should occur, you may be asked to proceed to one of the passenger assembly stations, which are located at both ends of the main passenger cabin. Please follow all instructions given by the crew. Life jackets may be found in lockers in the passenger cabin and in both shelter decks. They can also be found on the car deck in drop-ins at the base of the stairwells. To learn more about donning the life jackets or other shipboard emergency responses, Ask any crew member or review the information at the passenger assembly stations. Passengers who may have special needs during an emergency should identify themselves to any crew member upon boarding. If you have any questions, please stop by the ship's office or ask any crew member. In accordance with state and federal laws, smoking and vaping are prohibited on board any Washington State ferry. Thank you for your attention, and we hope you enjoy your trip. Over there, we had the Issaquah that was waiting for us to vacate the slip at Flatroy. This is going to be Ferry Guy 2 here on board the South.